Hey there, 40k fanatics. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the grim darkness that is 40k. Coming from you live in the grim dark garage. Before we start, make sure to check out our podcast of the same name on Podbean, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Amazon. So, let's get into it. Today we're talking about the Emperor of Mankind. He's a pivotal figure in the 40K universe, and his story is one of the most important and influential in the whole 40K setting. He was a powerful psyker who was born on Earth more than 10,000 years ago. He was born with incredible psychic powers and a profound understanding of science and technology, and he quickly became a leader and advisor to humanity. Over the time, the Emperor began to gather followers around him, and he began a campaign to unite all of humanity under his rule. During this campaign, the Emperor discovered the existence of Chaos Gods, malevolent entities that inhabit the warp and seek to corrupt and destroy all life. The Emperor realized that the Chaos Gods posed a significant threat to humanity and began a crusade to eradicate them from existence. He also created the Space Marines, genetically enhanced soldiers, who were designed to be the ultimate defenders of all mankind. Despite his incredible power, the Emperor was ultimately betrayed by one of his own favored sons, Horus Lupercal, who was corrupted by the Chaos Gods and led a rebellion against the Emperor. Thanks a lot, Erebus. The ensuing conflict, known as the Horus Heresy, tore the Imperium of Man apart and nearly destroyed the Emperor himself. In order to save his life, the Emperor was interned on a life support system called the Golden Throne, where he has since remained for more than 10,000 years. Today, the Emperor is worshipped as a god by many in the Imperium of Man, and his psychic power continues to sustain the Golden Throne and the Astronomicon, a psychic beacon that allows humanity to navigate through the warp and into real space. The Emperor's fate and ultimate goal remains a mystery, but his legacy and the influence are felt throughout the entire galaxy. The visible aspect of the Emperor's legacy is the Space Marines, his genetically engineered super soldiers who remain the backbone of the Imperium's military might. The Emperor's wisdom and foresight also led to the creation of countless other technological wonders, from the towering titans to the near indestructible dreadnoughts. His innovations and knowledge have provided the Imperium the tools necessary to hold back the tides of chaos and xenos threats alike. Yet beyond the material creations of the Emperor, his teachings and the message of unity and order also endure. The Imperium continues to hold dear the idea of human supremacy and the worship of the Emperor as a god remains an almost universal aspect of human culture. The Emperor's divine will is believed to guide the actions of the Imperium and his loyal servants, and his spiritual presence is felt in all aspects of Imperial life. Even his enemies, such as the Chaos-worshipping traitor legions of the Chaos Space Marines, cannot deny the impact of the Emperor's legacy. The Imperium may be beset on all sides by foes and threats, but as long as the Emperor's teachings and vision live on, Humanity has a chance of surviving in the grim darkness that is the far future. That's it for today, you guys. Glad to see you 40k fanatics subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. It really touches my heart. Go to our podcast on Podbean, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Amazon, also called 40k Fanatics, and support me and Shane as we go into the grim dark garage and really break down the universe that is 40k. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you out there in the grim darkness of the far future.